वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ तरुण वर्मा टूडे द टॉपिक ऑफ अवर क्लास इज सिंथेटिक फाइबर एंड प्लास्टिक दिस चैप्टर इज टेकन फ्राम क्लास एट थे सी आर टी सो विदाउट गेटिंग लेट लेट द स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ सिंथेटिक फाइबर वॉट इज सिंथेटिक फाइबर सिंथेटिक फाइबर आर मैन मेड फाइबर That is why these are called synthetic or man-made fiber. Synthetic means it's purely artificial. A synthetic fiber is also a chain of a small unit joined together, and as you can see, there is some description on screen. Many such small units combine to form a large single unit. Called a polymer. Now there are three types of synthetic fiber: rayon, nylon, and polyester and acrylic. Now starting with the first rayon. What were the need of such synthetic fiber? But before starting this, here is a question. what is the need of such synthetic fiber known as rayon then the answer is fabric obtained from silk fiber was very costly and beautiful its beautiful texture fascinated everybody then attempts were made to make silk artificially towards the end of the 19th century the scientists were successful in obtaining a fiber having properties similar to that of silk means rayon hence scientists were succeed to make the synthetic fiber rayon that were similar in the properties of silk Actually such a fiber like rayon was obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp this fiber was called rayon artificial silk although rayon is obtained from a natural source wood pulp yet it is a man made fiber it is cheaper than silk and can be woven like silk fibers rayon can be dyed in many colors rayon is also used for making bed sheets and carpets mixing it with cotton there are many colorful types of rayon available in the markets in the form of bed sheets carpet curtains and in other form now here we will talk about the second heading that was nylon nylon is another man made fiber found in 1931 but there is a difference in rayon and nylon that is rayon is made up of wood pulp but nylon is made without using any natural raw materials we can say that it is purely synthetic it was prepared from coal water and air it was the first fully synthetic fiber nylon fiber is strong elastic and light it is also lustrous and easy to use it became very popular for making cloths we use many articles made from nylon such as socks robes tents toothbrushes car sheets belts sleeping bags curtains etc if we compare steel and nylon wire 
देन ट्रस्ट मी नायलॉन इज मोर स्ट्रॉगर देन अ स्टील वायर नायलॉन इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर मेकिंग पैराशूट एंड रोप्स फॉर रॉक क्लाइंबिंग एज आई सेड अर्लियर अ नायलॉन थ्रेड इज एक्चुअली स्ट्रॉगर दैन स्टील वायर now here is our next topic polyester and acrylic polyester is another synthetic fiber fabric made from this fiber does not get wrinkled easily it remains crisp and easy to wash so it is quite suitable for making dress materials you must have seen people wearing nice polyester shirts and other dresses trilin is a popular polyester it can be drawn into very fine fibers that can be woven like any other yarn now here is a figure in which a girl the name is paheli she is thinking that her mother always buys pet jars for storing rice and sugars and she wants to know what pet is actually pet is a very familiar and strong form of polyester it is used for making bottles utensils films wire and many other useful products now here moreover we wear sweaters and use shawls or blankets in the winter many of these are actually not made from natural wool because polyester has the capacity to trap the air or to make an opaque surf- opaque surface that do not allow air to pass from inward to outward or in the same manner from outward to inward actually polyester are prepared from another type of synthetic fiber called acrylic or we can say these sweaters and wools are mostly prepared from acrylic that is the other form of synthetic fiber like polyester the wool obtained from natural sources quite expensive whereas cloth made from acrylic are relatively cheap polyester and acrylic moreover they are available in variety of colors therefore they seems attractive synthetic fiber are more durable and affordable which makes them more popular than natural fibers now here we will discuss about the characteristic of synthetic fibers synthetic fibers possesses unique characteristic which make them popular dress materials they dry up quickly they are durable they are less expensive readily available and easy to maintain now here is a picture observe it and answer about the question asked on your screen do synthetic fibers soak less or more water than the natural fabric obviously you will observe that synthetic fiber does not hold or soak more water in comparison to natural fabric do they take less or more time to dry since they do not absorb a lot of uh, more amount of water therefore they dry easily what does this activity tell you about the characteristic of the synthetic fiber means it is easy to clean also 
since it absorbs less water therefore it is more familiar to use in comparison to a natural fabric it is also cheaper and it is found in more colors than in the in case of natural fabrics now if we broadly discuss about the plastics then plastic is a polymer what is a polymer if you talk about polymer then polymer is a chain of many fabrics or you can say polymer is the chain of many chemical strands made from each other all plastic do not have the same type of arrangement of units in some it is linear whereas in other it is cross linked as you can see in picture a and b here in picture a and in picture b in some cases it may be linear but in some cases it may be branched or can make an arrangement like ring arrangement or circular arrangement in some it is linear whereas in other it is cross linked plastic articles are available in all possible shapes and sizes now if we consider about the plastic objects then the fact is that plastic is easily moldable that is it can be shaped in any form plastic can be recycled reused colored melted rolled into the sheets hence we can give it any form any color according to our use which makes it more attractive that is why it finds such a variety of uses when we add hot water to a plastic bottle it gets deformed such plastic which get deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermoplastic thermo means temperature and plastic you know polyester has polyester that has that that affects by using the temperature known as thermoplastic as polythene and pvc are some of the examples of thermoplastics on the other hand there are some plastics which when molded once cannot be softened by heating these are called thermosetting plastics as the our cookers handle for example we can say bakelite and melamine now discussing about bakelite bakelite is a poor conductor of heat and electricity therefore it is used for making electrical switches handles of various utensils as i told handle of your pan handle of a cooker now the next melamine melamine is a versatile material it resists fire and can tolerate heat better than other plastic it is used for making floor tiles kitchen ware and fabric which resist fire being lighter as compared to metals plastic are used in cars aircraft and spacecraft too the list is endless if we start counting articles like slippers furniture and decoration pieces in our surroundings 
plastic is non reactive this is the one of the best reason that why should we use plastic metal like iron get rust when left exposed to moisture and air but plastic do not react with water and air they are not corroded easily that is why they are used to store various kinds of material including many chemicals the second advance advantage that attracts us towards plastic use is plastic is light strong and durable since plastic is very light strong durable and can be molded into different shapes and sizes it is used for various purposes plastics are generally cheaper than metals they are widely used in industries and for household articles we can find easily 40% of our household 30 to 40% of our household articles as plastic chair buckets mugs and many other things made up of of plastic in new building in some cases we prefer the uh, plastics replacing the glass in the building glasses plastics are poor conductor means plastics do not conduct heat or electricity hence plastic do not harm by the use of excess heat or electricity this capacity of plastic is also very good characteristic which attracts us towards the plastic use that is why electrical wire have plastic covering and handles of screw drivers are made of plastic as mentioned above handles of frying pan are also made of plastic now after the advantage is there is some disadvantages of using plastics the one of the biggest disadvantages of plastic is polish how actually a material which get decompose through natural processes such as action by bacteria is called biodegradable and a material which is not easily decomposed by natural processes is termed as non biodegradable that means as plastic plastic is non biodegradable it takes millions of years to decompose sometimes more than that of we said millions of years here is a list taken from your ncert book here three columns are given in the first column we mentioned type of waste in the second column we mentioned the time taken to degenerate degeneration of the material in the third we mentioned the nature of the material here we can see that a peel of vegetable and fruit left over food stuff in the first it takes from 1 week to 2 week to degenerate and hence it is bio degradable paper takes 10 to 30 days and in maximum in one month a paper decomposes itself naturally therefore it is also biodegradable if we dig our cotton cloth into the earth it takes 2 to 5 months 
to degenerate itself therefore it is again biodegradable in the same manner wood takes 10 to 15 years to biodegrade to degenerate itself therefore it is also biodegradable woolen clothes may take one year to degenerate it is also biodegradable now if we talk about metals like tin aluminium and other metal gains it can take 100 to 500 years yes it is also in the category of non biodegradable because 100 to 500 years is too long time to degenerate a substance but if we talk about the plastic bags it can take many years beyond our expectations hence we cannot say that there is a fixed time to degenerate plastic itself therefore it is also non biodegradable plastic and the environment since plastic takes several years to decompose it is not environment friendly it causes environmental pollution besides the burning process in the synthetic material is quite slow and it does not get completely burnt easily in the process it releases very harmful and lots of poisonous fumes into the atmosphere causing air pollution hence plastic is not eco friendly it also causes greenhouse effect global warming and many such consequences are here to use plastics hence avoid the use of plastic as far as possible make use of bags made from cotton or jute when you go for shopping the biodegradable and non biodegradable waste should be collected separately and disposed of separately it is better to recycle the plastic waste most of the thermoplastic can be recycled make a list of item that can be recycled so make a list you can post me a photo as a responsible citizen member the four r principle that is reduce reuse recycle and recover develop habits which are environment friendly and we should not do the following things as we are given do not throw plastic bags in water bodies or on the road now take a cotton carry bag or jute bag while going for shopping and the next try to minimize the use of plastic material example given use a steel lunch box instead of plastic one this all will help to keep clean the environment now here i am giving the important keywords define these keywords finding them with the help of video with the help of reading your books and from some other sources if there are any question please ask me thank you